shot person. My darling sister, heaven loving, love you dearly. Congratulations. I don't even know who is the birthday. No, it's my brother. Both of them. Both of them. He's coming. He is coming. Ever worry. Come for. You will know soon. Dr. Bikule, from there, I discover he knows one of my brother. They grew up together. Then from there, you know, we've been a it has been a friendship between my family and his own. We chat, we talk every day. It's been a blessing knowing them both you know, I went to his uh, memory. Almost immediately we arrived, we connected with each other in 2001, around March of 2001. But um, Dr. Obikule, Brother Femi, has known almost all my friends all his life. But we never met where we were both born and raised. Same city, like he said. He also we attended did. UI. <laughs> we didn't meet over there. Oh, you guys. And then we um, we connected here and realized there's even more people that he knows that I know that we ran, ran around, you know, like you were saying, got in trouble together. And I know we must have been getting in trouble in the same places, but we just didn't know each other. So, but since we've become friends, I don't know how many people he is like that with, but for me as a person, I found that he's been completely honest and he's been a true friend. When you say true friend, you're talking about a friend indeed. Not just to say I'm your friend, but who will get up and inconvenience themselves to do something that's completely unnecessary just to be a blessing. I remember when we came and we were trying to settle down, he and uh, Sister Bosse brought food to our initial housing at the time. And I remember every time we had an event with the church when we started, I don't know which ones you ever missed, even if it's last minute or inconvenient. Um, so, it is just a joy for me that today we're not sorrowing, we're not sad, we're not at the graveyard because of a recent medical emergency that he had. That God preserved your life. I am personally so thankful that God looked upon you with mercy and your wife and children are here to celebrate you. It's not ordinary when we turn certain years, like 60. Um, it's not ordinary, because at that age you already have probably grandchildren. And if you go at that time at 60, well, you know, people, people, will, people will still, in our culture, they will kill cows, and call a musician, and have a big party. So dying at 60 is not any major event. It is an event for the family, but the whole community will come and party. But when you are at this stage and you still have so much to give, because I know what I was saying about him being uh, a close friend, there are certain things that we share together as brothers that you really don't, you can't share with most people when you get to be vulnerable and normal with each other. 
you get to be honest about your strength and your giftings. And there's a lot of them that I can say about him. Uh, imagine going to get a PhD at almost 60 years old. You know, it, it takes, I tried it, and I'm still paying the student loan without a certificate. I had to, <laughs> I had to stop because I just, I, I just couldn't deal with the stress. But I look at him as a very highly accomplished person, somebody who is serious-minded, a great example to the rest of us who are his friends, uh, somebody you can trust his promise. In fact, till tomorrow when he uh, says, I'm coming to your office at 12 noon, if he shows up at the door at five minutes past 12, he's going to apologize. And you know what that means if you're from our culture. You know the African time <laughs> problem. When they say it's four o'clock, people show up at five or six o'clock. Or seven o'clock. But he shows and leads by example by showing up on the dot. And if he's going to be two minutes late, he's going to call and say, I'll be two minutes late. So I want to you express. <laughs> of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that he will give you good health. Amen. He will multiply his blessings to you Amen. and to your children. Amen. You will see your children's children's Amen. children. Amen. And the name of Jesus with which you are known and called Amen. and mentioned here today Amen. will be celebrated because of you. Amen. I pray that he will grant your heart's desires. Amen. I pray that God will surprise you by grace. Amen. I pray that this home will experience peace Amen. from this point going forward beyond anything that you can ever ask or imagine. Amen. And I thank God for your life. Amen. Thank you for just always being who you are. Amen. My name is Benga Defaye. I am Femi Obikule's brother. We grew up together in, uh, before we were 20. Happy to welcome him to the club. BFMO, congratulations, welcome. God bless you, God keep you. God enrich you. Keep the work of your hands. And if you use the quarrel, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. After that, it's up to you what you want. May God bless you. May God keep you. Congratulations, my brother. Congrats. Um, Adukolodolo. For life, for living, for all that God has done and continue to do in your life. Uh, I'm Femi's friend and brother. And um, it's been a journey, but we thank God for all that God has done. And um, Akbar Allah, you've just started. Started in the sense that the blessings of God would fall in good places for you from here on. And um, all the desires of your heart, God will grant them. And good health and long life, like the Bible promised us, is what I pray for you and I wish you and I know that it will be granted. Mm -hmm. And your home, your children, don't I want to sort of I do miss you so your home will be blessed, will be rich in God's features, and your children and your children's children will make you happy. And you yourself, you will be a blessing, and people will use you as a reference of God's goodness in a man's life. Happy birthday, Femi. And to your lovely wife, uh, because when they see your face looking radiant, it is because there is a woman who is supporting you in every way. So I pray that your home, your wife, everybody, the, the joy of the Lord will be your strength and plenty of celebrations will continue to roll in time after time without ceasing. In God's name. A show, Bubwe in Tewa, Bawa Ye Femi Si. God bless you, Femi. Thank you.
and uh, on behalf of myself and my family, I want to wish uh, Dr. Obi Kunle a happy birthday, and I wish you many more years. Um, I first met Dr. Obi Kunle in 2016, when I first came to the United States, and since then, he has been a mentor and a father to me. And uh, on this day, I really want to thank him for the role he, he has played in my life. And uh, um, I just, I just, I just wish him the best. I wish you long life. I wish you prosperity. I wish you every other, everything that you know heaven and earth can offer. Um, God bless you, sir. It's, it's such a lovely day to be able to join Femi in celebrating 60 years on God's earth. Uh, Femi and I date back to secondary school where we were in uh, the same boarding school in those days. And, um, you know, all the pranks and all the, and everything that we were into as, uh, as uh, boarding school students, uh, which, which uh, I, I can only share with Femi and, uh, and, and um, some of our, of our colleagues, and he knows them. <laughs> and, um, you know, from those teenage, teenage boys of those days, right to a point where uh, from, from a teenager, Femi is now hit 60. Man, even I, in those days, our, our head teacher, our principal was not even 60. And we saw them like really, really old men. So for you to be hitting 60 today, um, we give God the praise for you and for your life. Yeah, Femi, happy birthday to you. I wish you, ve I wish you very well. I said earlier, you are going to live gloriously long. The Lord will continue to bless you. Amen. And you are going to see the greatness of your children. Amen. And but the Lord Almighty will do it. Amen. Yeah, the Lord Almighty will do it. They are going to be useful to their motherland. And that is Nigeria. You know, it will happen. But not to my yato like Baralua. Oloma Bawa to relay the no she baralua. Oloma de Lua Moy, that's it true, no she like Baralua. And the Besajo and the Besajo. It should be banning at Yawi, it should be banning Yjo. Rabba Midruti and your other siblings, the Lord Almighty will continue to bless you. Uh, brother Femi, I want to say a big congratulations to you on this special day. Um, you are being a such um, uh, a such big brother to all of us, and you are most of us. You are our hero when we're growing up. You so much love every one of us. Maybe people don't do not know me. I'm Brad Femi's niece. I think um, it's niece, and um, uh, we all grew up together. We thank God for the parent, my, um, for our parents who, for holiday, um, uh, we're uh, with Brafem Ibadan, or MAG, it's always been fun. You always make, you, uh, there's always something that you will create for every one of us that it will be memorable. Uh, being here singing, being here like uh, taking us out, loving brother. And uh, your, your, your love, you, you're, not, you're very, um, uh, what, what do I want to say? I just want to say your love does not even limit it to to just like us alone, it's just encompasses everybody around you. And uh, we personally will not forget you in our family. Uh, God used you mightily for us. Uh, when we were supposed to come to America, you do not, you know, you, you, everything, including things that people will say, oh, I got here to America, I so saw how all those things that you did uh, for us, our people will not let go of it, but you freely did it. And by, your, by God's grace and by your support, 
we are here today. So we are so grateful. I'm so grateful as your junior sister to you. I'm forever grateful. And uh, my family, all our family, we are grateful to you um, for your love, for your, so your sacrifice for everybody. And uh, we thank you because you always reach out for help to everybody. So I pray, uh, I want to thank Sister Bosset too, because I know without us, it's, um, is support, our uh, support, it won't be uh, possible. And I want to thank her for organizing this beautiful birthday for you. I pray that God will bless her mightily. And I also want to pray that, brother, you will continue to prosper. And um, in all the area of your life, everything that you um, you wish in your heart, God is going to do it for you. Your spoken request, unspoken request is going to be answered by God in Jesus' name. And you continue to rise, raise, uh, God will continue to uh, take you to high places of this world. So congratulations, Edmund. You God do not do can in Jesus' name. Happy birthday, sir. Uh-uh. Oh, you must. Hello, sir. Uh-uh. you okay, lady, man. All the way. Perfect. Uh-uh. Uh, you Happy birthday. Any happy returns, you Stop on up with you. Abio. Pelefemi, Emi Agumo, Abika Bese, Wakpela Guarulua, Amisa, Amo Amadualo, Tora Wati Juamo Biwalo, Emi, Emi, Amo, they are going to be greater than us. They are going to be greater than us, and you are going to live gloriously long. Gloriously long. You are going to live gloriously long. Amen. 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 Bless you. Bless you. And you're going to be a tree of blessing to as many people as possible. Amen. 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 Yes, ma. Uh, yes, ma. Yes, ma. Hello, Kori. Yes, Kori. Yes, ma. Kori. Yes, ma. 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 Cyprus. Time but I joined. I've sent you a message already. Cyprus, Cyprus, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the DJ for two weeks. I love it. Shame bad news. He's taught many lives in the course of his uh, career. He has taught lives in the course of his uh, pastoral duties. Dr. Fermi was born, of course, 60 years ago. We know that. Everybody can do that math now. Yeah, 60 years ago. Um, born. And he grew up in Ibadan. The same town where I grew up. Unfortunately, we didn't know each other then until we got to Canada. Yeah. So after his elementary school days and uh, secondary school, he proceeded to the university of that other university I told you about. We won't, we won't make much about that university. He went to the university of Ibadan. I went to the University of Dadan rather than going to the uh, Excuse me for that. And he um, graduated with a degree in geography. And soon after that, after working briefly in Nigeria, he proceeded to the UK. I mean, United Kingdom. Not Ukraine. Not Ukraine. <laughs> he went to the United Kingdom. Uh, where he continued his education, 
um, obtaining a master's degree in uh, urban and regional planning. In fact, um, while he was in Nigeria, that's when, uh, when he was doing his uh, bachelor's program. That was when he came across this lady. So you are the man, and the first thing he did, he did his hand in the pockets and gave me money. Ah, I said, look at me. He, he was the first one that gave me money in the United States. Ah, what did you think then? It's America is big. He just at me and gave me money. That this is the money for your lunch. I said, I'm still struggling with the class. People give in America. You know? Because... When I was going, I said, what, what kind of work is this man doing? They just saw me today, he didn't even know he's going to meet me and he gave me money. You know, that's why I said people remember people for things. You know, when my sister called me the day before yesterday, I said, because of what you did, you know, I'm going to be here. Though I didn't plan for it, but I'm going, you give honor to whom honor is due. And you don't know at the time of your need. You don't know which one we speak mm. when you are giving. And I've learned so many things from him. He's a man of God to the core. And he's a man of vision. And I pray you will end well. Amen. You will finish strong. Amen. On that day, we shall all be there rejoicing. Amen. You will not be found wanting. Amen. Because that is the end of the matter. After we have done all in this world, yes. we have to reign with him at eternity. Yes. He's a man of vision and he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a very straightforward person. And I told that he didn't be sick. He said, Behold, I come with you, and my reward is with me to give unto every man Amen. according to his works. We, we are going to receive our reward, Amen. not just here. But when we get there, Amen. we will enter your mansion Amen. because you have worked for it. Amen. And I pray that you will not look back. Amen. The Lord will uphold you with his right hand of righteousness. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Continue Amen. calling upon him, Amen. seeking his face. Amen. He will never fail you. Amen. He has done it before. Amen. He will do it again. Amen. Amen. The Lord Almighty will strengthen you. Amen. Just continue doing the work of your Father. I know that serving God makes you happy. And that is the only things that one can do that can make God happy. As long as you are not doing it for somebody, if you are doing it as unto God, you will be rewarded abundantly with long life, peace, joy, happiness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Congratulations once again. Thank you. And welcome to the club. Thank you. Then uh, a short time after that, we invited the whole family over. It was Christmas time, and I had set the small table for Tomi and Tolu. And when they walked in, he handed me this little tiny baby that had this outfit on, and it was, you know, it was a snowsuit. It was just like this. And that I will never forget uh, a very dear family and every year on the girl's birthday I would find out what kind of cake they wanted and bring it over and bake it for them. But they're uh, just a wonderful, kind family. For that in your life, sir. Uh, it's a privilege to be here, to be a friend, and, you know, <laughs> and I, I bless God for that. I want us to just, you know, point our, our hands towards him. I know many prayers have been said, but I want us to direct our hands towards him and bless him with all kinds of blessings from the heavenly places. Amen. The blessings of the Lord. Hey, hey, my God is good, yo. Your health for 
double 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 Your children double double You're anointing double double Somebody scream Hallelujah In the morning when I wake up I will sing my praise unto you my Lord I will shout, I will dance to you You are beautiful Your money double double Your anointing double double Come on now That you have made I appreciate your time I appreciate leaving everything In order to be here God will continue to honor you He will continue to perfect everything that relates to you. He will continue to perfect everything that relates to your life. Life is not about your educational qualification. It's not about acquiring the the acquisition of degrees. It's not about the acquisition of professional certifications. It is not about the schools you've been to, or all the countries you've been to, or the money you have, or the number of cars that you parade, or the houses that you are living in or the number of children you have is all by the grace of God. You have to acknowledge God in all you do. Make God the foundation of your life. Without God, everything is meaningless. If this will be the last day, will you take the cars away with you? Will you be able to take the money with you? The children will not go with you. Your money will not go with you. Think about legacy. How has your life impacted others? Mm-hmm. Leave them with the word of God. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let them know that with God, all things are possible. Amen. And without God, they cannot achieve anything. You see, you may spend millions on, child, on a child. If there are no God in his life, everything is meaningless. Each time I encounter any crisis or any challenge, I don't remember the name of my father, or the name of my mother, or the name of my wife, or the name of my children, or anybody. The name that always saves me is when I call on the name of God. He makes the difference between life and death. When you call on him, he has the ability, he has the power to help you. No matter the challenges you have, remember God. And for my little baby, listen, pay attention. Yes, I'm talking to you. Please. Please, hold on to God. Learn about God. A time will come when people like me will be no more. When all the people that you are seeing around will be no more. Your parents will not be around. You will be able to live your life where you know that you have God with you. Remember that. And don't forget. We are all passing through. The most important thing is we can pass through successfully when we have God in our lives. Yesterday has gone. Today is given. We thank God that we are alive. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. The only way you can live through tomorrow is by grace. Anytime you sleep and you have the grace of waking up, thank the Almighty God and give Him grace. Thank you so much, everybody. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. As you didn't see me, so yeah, I be on my God. Oh my God. 